all praises be to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for his mercy, truly endure forever. So, but I've been, <laughs> I've been watching you, listening to you. You're not making any sense. Give me Hosea four and six. Like about like um, we're not Native American, African American, this and that. But yet you compare the Israelite as oh to the Chinese too. Why we have to separate each other? If you if it was because that's their Israelite. name. We are called Jamaicans. But, we are called everything in the world. They're all other nations. Yes, we are other okay, nations. But, but Israel. Okay. Israel is who we deal with. But okay, uh -huh. like, I'm, like I'm saying, right? We all other nations. Who? Like. All of us from different countries, right? No, we're not another nation. No, no. Country, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me finish the question. I'm going somewhere with it. All right. All of us from different countries, right? Uh -huh. But yet you're saying we're Israelite. Uh -huh. Okay? Now, uh -huh. as you're talking about Israelite, uh -huh. yet, why you mentioning, oh, we're not Chinese, we're not this, they're all other the nation too. Yes. So why are, we, why are you comparing it to them and then you, de you deprive yourself from being African American or whatever? Why, why don't all them be Israelite as well? I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire This word gon' take us higher, yes I know I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that Get his brother a hand. Get his brother a hand. What I said earlier. About like slavery. Slavery, yeah. Okay? You say there's no more slavery in America. Huh? You say there's no more slavery in America, but other countries, yes. But me working for you, isn't that slavery? What no. about the what about you no. saying about the you know, selling what, other people? What does the word what about, slavery mean? Hmm? What does slavery mean? Slavery mean slavery mean you working for you gotta be there for somebody every time they need you, every time they ask you for something. So if your parents wanted you to be there for them, are you in slavery? No, you're not because you're not getting paid for. And another thing what I said, mm -hmm. like about like um we're not Native American, African American, this and that, but yeah. You compare the Israelite as oh to the Chinese too. Why we have to separate each other? If you if it was because to be that's Israelite. their name. We are called Jamaicans. But, we are called everything in the world. They're all other nations. Yes, we don't deal with other but, nations. But, Israel, okay. Israel is who we deal with. But okay, like, uh -huh. I'm, like I'm saying, right? We all other nations. Who? Like all of us from different country, right? No, we're not another nation. No, no. The country, the nation, listen, listen to me. Let me finish the question. I'm going somewhere with it. All right. All of us from different countries, right? Uh -huh. But yet you're saying we're Israelite. Uh -huh. Okay? Now, as you're talking about Israelite, uh -huh. yet, why you mention, oh, we're not Chinese, we're not this, they're all other the nation too. Yes. So why are, we, why are you comparing it to them and then you, de you deprive yourself from being African American or whatever? Why, why don't all them be Israelite as well? Because they came from somewhere else? No, because they weren't chosen. Israel was chosen, not the other nations. Israel, but okay, we're not from Israel. Prove okay? It. We're not from Israel. Prove we're it. black in America. How so do we get only, to America? So that's from where? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me get to this. Okay. Why all the way? Okay, this hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No hold white on. people, hold on. only let black. Tell. Let me tell you. We, we're from here. So on, that means man. everybody that's supposed no, no, no. And so, so therefore, everybody that's supposed no, 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 no. to be saved hey, are the people hey. that literally right, from Israel, right? Oh, all praises be to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for his mercy, truly endure forever. So, but I've been, <laughs> I've been watching you, listening to you. You're not making any sense. Give me Hosea four and six. I'm not making any sense. Right, you're not making any sense because you Haitian. Mm -hmm. Do you do you know the history of Haiti? Yes. Destiny, Cooper, Ted, Bully, Kyle, you understand all that? Yes. Because if you really understand, you wouldn't be saying what you're saying right now. Do you you read the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Yes. I believe from from Bible. Genesis, you believe in the Bible, okay? Yes. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Come on. My people. My what? My, my people. people. So the Bible, this is the prophet Hosea, the spirit of the most. He said, my people, come on. Are destroyed. Are what? Are destroyed. Are destroyed, come on. For lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. So you said we're not supposed to judge, right? 
So say you're drinking alcohol, you get intoxicated on the street. If a police come by and see you, what are they going to do? What? They're going to judge you. They're going to judge you, right? So why, why is okay. it? So hold on. You got to think, because, hold on. Think no, no, about, no, no. hold on. I already know where you you're going. No, no, you, you I said know where you're going. Just because you I don't just know like where I'm going. You don't know where I'm okay. going. Let me finish. You talk. Let me let me talk. Right? So now there's a time and place for everything. So you can't say that there's no place for judgment. Okay? So they have a job to do. So we as servants of the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we have a job to do. That's right. Okay? Read that again. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. Not knowing who you are. Because if I ask you right now, what's your nationality, what are you going to tell me? You're Haitian. Where did that word Haitian come from? Because of my background. Because, no, because of the, that's the term, the label that the white man put on the people in the land. That's right. That is not who you are. Right. Right? So what I have before me, right? This is some history. Okay? His, historical fact. Read this. This is, this is the... Two, Read it. Read it right there. Liberty or death. Listen carefully. Proclamation. Never again shall a colonist or a European. What's the year on that? Tell me the year. The year is June 19, 1804. 1804. This is historical facts. Okay, come on. Liberty or death. Proclamation. Right. Never again shall a colonist or a European set his foot upon this territory. So this is this is Tucson Desaline. Okay? Our forefathers. Because our people have strayed away from the understanding of who we are. Right? Read again from the top. Liberty or death. I don't, don't yell because you're giving me feedback. Go ahead. Proclamation. Wait. Never again shall a colonist. Are you listening? Come on. Never again shall a colonist or a European set his foot upon this territory with the title of master or pre-priority. The so-called white people, right? The blanche, right? They are the Europeans. They're not black Europeans too. They're black Europeans? Yeah. Where did you see a black... I'm not talking... You can be living... They can be black people in China. They will not call them Chinese. They're going to call them a Negro. Right. Okay? It doesn't, it doesn't matter where you are. A black man can be in China. They'll still call you a Negro. They're not going to call you Chinese. So when, when you refer to a European... Matter of fact, look up, look up the word European in the dictionary. Let's see what it says. Because he lived in Japan, because he lived in Japan, he was born in Japan. How do you determine? How do you determine your not your uh, nationality according to the Bible? No, 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 that's not. It's the seed of your father. Okay, give me a definition of European. This is what you're trying to tell me. All white people are enemies. Only black people are right. I'm not talking about white or black. The the most side okay. relating to or characteristics of Europe or its inhabitants. Okay, so Europe, so who's that? The blonde, that's not our people. So according to, give me, um, give me, um, does the seed, how do you determine the seed? Numbers, numbers 1 and 18. Okay, so everything we bring out is what? According to the Bible. Okay, from Genesis all the way to Revelation to give you understanding. A lot of our people have been to church all their life and don't understand the contents of this Bible because we were taught by the pastor, by the priest, by the priest, okay? Because when you, did you grow up what? Uh, Catholic? Because that's the predominantly from Haiti. So what was your religion? You don't have religion. Okay. You don't have a relationship. All right, read that. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. Come on. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Come on. My they, friend, my friend, calm, calm down, calm down, read. And they declared their pedigrees. Come on. After their families. Uh -huh. By the house of their father. The house of who? The house, the house of, of their, their father. father. The house of your father. So according to your father's okay, genealogy, that's who you determine who you are, not where you're born. Okay? This is trying to teach you where you're born, that's who you are. That's not true. Because a black man can go to any country. If a black man go to Russia, they don't call him Russian. They call him a Negro. That's right. Anywhere a black man goes, they don't call him according to where he's born. Okay? So that is the label that was put upon us as a nation of people. So it's time for us to come back to the Lord said the commandment. We are not equal. Now finish reading the, uh, this, this, uh, this here. The 
the resolution shall henceforth. So what is what is word resolution mean? My friend, if you my, what is res, pay attention, he, he's distracted. Okay, what does resolution mean? Resolution. When you resolve something, it's a final, it's an answer, right? Yeah. When you resolve something, right? You get a, a, a answer or yeah, you get, yeah. When you, yeah. Read, read, yeah. Yes. read that. This resolution shall henceforth <laughs> form the fundamental basis of our constitution. Come on. Should other chiefs after me, by pursuing a conduct diametrically opposite to mine. So he is saying that follow this, this blueprint. If the leaders after me do something different, it's going to have an adverse effect. Right? Come on. Opposite to me, dig their own graves. Do what? Dig their own graves. Dig their own grave. Come on. And those of their species. Of their own species. Come on. Many... May my successors follow the path I shall have traced out for them. See, listen, he said his successors follow the path. So what you got to understand, that things of, is not, what we're bringing out is not of our own uh, opinion. This is what the Most High contained in his Bible, right? So now, do you believe that God hates? The Heavenly yes. Father, do you believe he hates? Yes, sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Do you believe that he hates a certain people? According to the Bible, yes. Who does he hate? Um, oh shit! Oh, what's the name again? Um, just like you burned that city. Um, Sodom and Gomorrah. Not said he hate a people. He hates a people. Does he hate people? I don't think God hates people. You don't think he hates people? No. Are you sure about that? Yes. Are you are you hundred percent positive? That's what I believe. Yeah. All right, give me Genesis twenty five twenty one, and then give me uh, Romans. Give me Genesis 25, 21, and then give me jumping Romans. Let's see what the Bible says. You say you believe in the Bible, right? All right. Let's get that. The book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 21. Come on. And Isaac entreated the Most High for his wife because she was barren. So what does the word barren mean? You okay? Are the incense? <laughs> You're not a true Haitian. We burn incense all day in our sleep. No, when in your eye? Yeah. Okay, it's casting out spirits. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we do we, we do exorcism too. We read 25 and 2. Don't worry, that's just the demons leaving off of you. We read 25 and 21. You'll be all right. Genesis 25 and verse 21. Come on. And Isaac entreated the most high for his wife. Come on. Because she was barren. She was barren. Barren means that what? She can't get pregnant. Right? Fruitless. Come on. And the most high was entreated of him. So the Lord answered the prayer, and she was able to get pregnant. Read. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And what? And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Rebecca is why she got pregnant. Come on. And the children struggled together within her. So now, what's wrong? What's going to the speakers? It says, um. Is it dying? Hold it. No. Hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Yeah. Somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah. So not only did the Mosai bless her to get pregnant, but she was able to uh, bring. She was having twins. Okay. But the, she's not going to have identical twins. Read that. And the children struggle within her. They said and, what? And the children struggle within her. So the children in her in her womb, in her belly, they're struggling, they're fighting in her womb. Right? Come on. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So she said, Lord, if you bless me to get pregnant, why are these children struggling in my womb? Why am I feeling this way? Read. Come and on. And she went to inquire of the Most High. Read. And the Most High said unto her, Two nations. To what? Two, two nations. nations. So it said two nations. These two children are going to be father's progenitors of two different nations. All right? Come on. Two nations are in thy womb. Come on. And two manner of people shall be separated. Shall be what? Shall be separated. Shall be who? Shall be separated. So you asked the question earlier, why we got to be separate? Why we can't be together? Why we can't be ebony and ivory? The most high sea separated this thing. Right? Read it again. And the Most High said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Shall be who? Shall be separated from thy bowels. So it said they're going to be separated. Okay? This is the Most High giving understanding of these two children bring forth nations. He said they're going to be separated. Come on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. 
And he said what? And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. So he said the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Now, look at this. The so-called Haitians, Jamaicans, the West Indians, the so-called Negroes. When you look at the, the things that we have gone through in, in, our, in, uh, in uh, all throughout generation and generation, right? Compared to the other nation, not saying that some of the other nations did not experience things, but when you look at the atrocities that we have gone through, especially uh, the so-called Haitians, right? But we still survive through all these things, right? Because why? Read it again. One people. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. The Bible says that we are stronger than the other nations. Right? He said one people shall be stronger than the other. Right? Come on. And the elder shall serve the younger. So now it says the elder shall serve the younger. Pay attention. Read. Verse 24. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Read. behold, there were twins in her womb. So there were twins in her womb, but they're not identical twins. Read. And the first came out red. And the first came out what? Red. And the first came out red. Now, when you ask a, a Caucasian, so-called white person, you ask them, well, what color are you? They will say white, but are they actually white? They're not white, okay? They're red, light pink, right? Just like we're not black. If I ask you what color, what color, pay attention, what color are you, what are you gonna say? That's why I said pay attention. Put your arm out. What color is your arm? Okay, so as I said, what color? You see, we have been programmed. You don't understand this, this programming is so incredible that we don't even know. Like, I'm, you're a grown man, I'm asking you what color you are, you automatically say black because why? We were programmed. That's right. That's right. So now you look at yourself, okay, wow, I'm brown. All these years I've been taught I'm black. Right? So when you look up the word, if you look, go home, I'm gonna give you a homework assignment. Go home and look up the word black and look up the word white. Okay? They call themselves white because the definition for white is pure, white like snow. Right? Don't do nothing wrong. Look up the word black. It's despicable. Right? All these negative names they put on the word black, that's who they said we are. But we're not black people. We are different shades of brown. Right? And they are not white. Read that again. And the first came out red. All over like in hairy garment. So he said he was what red and hairy, right? They are red and hairy. What did they call the so-called white man in the south? They call them what? Rednecks. So this is this is Bible prophecy. Okay? They are the red and hairy people according to the Bible. Right? Now give me your Romans now. So now, oh, 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 finish reading that. Finish reading that, sorry. And they called his name. Esau. They called his name what? Esau. Esau. They called his name Esau. In the Hebrew is Aisha Shah, meaning wasted away as he. When he came out of his mother's womb, his father said Aisha Shah. Okay? Aisha Shah meaning he did not have any melanin, any pigment in his skin. Okay? The so called white man is the only people on the earth that don't have melanin pigment in their skin. Okay? When we when we outside, right? When we get the sun, we get what? We get vitamins, right? right yeah. But when they out in the sun, what do they get? They get skin cancer because they don't have melanin pigment in their skin. Read on, verse twenty-six. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. Right. And his name was called Jacob. His name was called what? Jacob. Right. And Isaac was three four years old. So now. When Esau came out, it was a historical moment. They said, Aisha Shah, Esau, right? Said it was red and hairy. But why when Jacob came out, the other brother, there was no, there was no description because Jacob came out the natural color. Okay? Right? So now, we read about Jacob and Esau. The word, we're reading for the book of Genesis. The word Genesis means what? The beginning. Right? So now give me Romans. Let's see what the Bible says. Now, the topic we're talking about speaking. Huh? You never heard that part, right? Okay, that's why you, you come. This is the truth right here. Alright? Read that. Romans chapter 
Deuteronomy. Chapter 9 and verse 12. Start from 11. Verse 11. Come on. For the children being not yet born. So now it says, for the children being not yet born, read. Neither having done any good or evil. Okay, so meaning what? They didn't come out of their mother's womb, so they haven't done any good or evil. So somebody might say, well, it's because of what they did, why this thing is about to happen, right? So it's, they wasn't born yet, right? Read on. That the purpose of the Most High. Read, read how it's written. That the purpose of God. The purpose of the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because everything, is, it's not about what I got to say. It's not about what you have to say. It's about the Heavenly Father, His program. Okay? So we have to come on His mindset. Because He said His ways are not our ways. Right? Read. According to the election might stand. According to the election might stand. Come on. Not of works. Not of what? Not of works. See, not of works. Not of things that they did. Read. But of him that call it. Him that call it. Who's the him? The most high power. Okay. Read. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. So where was it said that elder shall serve the younger? Where? We just read it in Genesis. Right? It said the elder shall serve the younger. And who came out first when we read in Genesis? Who came out first? Esau. And he was what? Red and hairy, right? So it said, that's why the churches say, oh, the Old Testament's done away with, but why did it say it was said? It means what? It's referring back to the Old Testament.